at fast food films, a pumpkin head, a melon head, let the play begin, and a talking head, Wilmer. Welcome to Fast Food Films, home of the six-minute movie. Our films are short takes on the originals, but with a twist. We show you just enough to make you want to see the whole flick without giving away the story or ending like some trailers do. And we do it three times in a half hour. That's three movies served up our way. Just think of the time you're going to save, huh? And when we're done, we'll tell you how you can get your hands on your own personal copy of these hard-to-find movies. Got it? Excellente. Moving on. Our first offering is Bluegrass, a charming family-oriented movie about a widow who comes home to Kentucky horse country and wins the Kentucky Derby. Well, her horse does. Bluegrass was originally released in 1988 as a miniseries, but it would require a full three hours of your time to watch it. So we looked at it for you and picked out the best four minutes without skipping on the stars. You're welcome. Let's see, there's Cheryl Ladd, Diane Ladd, Wayne Rogers, Mickey Rooney, and the sordid saga of a force we like to call Mr. Ted. Here's the fast food film's take on Bluegrass. It's a story as old as Tinseltown. A story of too much, too fast, too soon. This is the Celeb TV real Hollywood story of the meteoric rise and tragic fall of Mr. Ted. Wilbur! How did America's favorite equine star go from oats to caviar and back again in the time it takes a strap on a feed bag? We'll find out tonight on the Celeb TV Real Hollywood Story. Mr. Ted was born Theodore Equus in a cloverfield pasture outside Lexington, Kentucky. He was raised by a single mare and never knew his father, who was apparently an itinerant prancing show horse. Ted dreamed of leaving the pasture behind. He had big plans, visions of fortune, fame, and stardom. Not content to simply give rides at birthday parties and wait for the glue factory, Ted instead developed a stand-up routine. Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, hey, why the long face? Ted's act was seen by Mickey Rooney, who was looking for a new co-star in his seemingly endless string of horse racing movies. So, how about that stable food, huh? Ted became Mr. Ted, and overnight, a star was born. What do you know? It's just a big, stupid, stinking thing with a leg at all four corners. I resemble that remark. Where are you going with that thermometer, Doc? The main thing is, get it? The main thing? And after his Academy Award, Win, boy. Win for Tom Sage and Jeremy Breen. And win for me. Okay. Ted really hit the big time. Ted bought a $9 million ranch in Memphis, down the street from Graceland. And Ted spared no expense in making Outlaw Farm a decadent playground befitting the clown prince of horsey humor. Outlaw Farm was a stable full of big money, big laughs, and big sin. Phillies for everyone. It was crazy up there, man. I mean, hot and cold running fillies bust in by the truckload. Well, ladies, you're outlaw women now. Is it true about Ted's parties? You can't prove anything. The party never stopped at Outlaw Farm until February 14th, 1997. That's when scandal brought Ted's stable of cards tumbling down. Ted was discovered in a secret love nest with a 10-month-old Palomino. The story made headlines around the world. Ted made a hasty apology. I'm getting treatment for sexual addiction, and my veterinarian gives me a prognosis for a successful recovery. But public opinion turned against him, despite the loyalty of his famous friends. Boys will be boys. Ted's show went from number one to number last. Mr. Ted was soon out of a job. Troubled by mood swings and bouts of depression, Ted holed up at Outlaw Farm. He began drinking heavily. You rat bastard TV execs, they're dying for coming. Car note flaggers. Why didn't you get Ted into Hey A? <laughs> what are you going to do? Soon he hit rock bottom. And ultimately, Mr. Ted, former beloved TV star, 
ended up in Hollywood's deepest, darkest genre, the tawdry world of pony porn. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, you want the carrot or you want the stick? Oh, that's right, Winnie for me. Who's your sire, huh? <laughs> oh, crap. Give me a cigarette. On the night of January 6, 1999, Mr. Ted was killed in a barn fire. Some said it was an accident, that he was smoking in a stall. But others felt he was suicide. We'll never know for sure. His friends and millions of fans mourned his passing. Mr. Ted was a troubled soul, and he went too soon. But his legacy will always be with us. That concludes the Celeb TV Real Hollywood story of Mr. Ted. Tune in next time when we'll tell the sordid story of a well-known furry bitch of the silver screen. Well, that's the way it is in Hollywood. Right and high in April, burnt down in May. Bluegrass was directed by Simon Winsor. It was part of his horse trilogy. He made The Light Horseman just before it and Lonesome Dove just after it. He also made Free Willy, which uh, doesn't have anything to do with horses at all. If you want your own copy of Bluegrass, we'll show you how you can order it later in the show. Next up, head chopped off before your eyes. And later, the story of one head who survived to love again. Two of the strangest films you've ever seen. Next up on Fast Food Films.